Petty. What's up, nigga, nigga? What's going on with you, love? Oh, my dear. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm missing little Timmy. I don't know where little Timmy is. He's oh, man. Little Timmy's still at the pediatrician. I got to put out a, a put him on the low crack. <laughs> low crack. I got to get the crack here to locate little Timmy. Oh my goodness! Yeah, let's little see. Timmy on the mission. I'm gonna put a, a APLB out. Well, let's start this off by saying I see you look amazing with your red top on and your lipstick popping, okay. the hair dye on. What's his name? What his name is? <laughs> um, you don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. His name okay. is Money. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm in love with the money. Yeah. I'm in love with the money. That's the best way to be. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning. Good to see you, my dear. What's up, Joe? How you feeling, sir? Mm -hmm. Mayor of the Green Line. I yeah. like that. Yeah, right? He coming in, coming in. Mr. Welcome Mayor, Mr. Mayor, y'all come on in here. No, 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 no. Come on in. Make yourself at home, partner. Welcome to the party. Like and share the feed as you join, because we here each and every weekday morning. And the bottom line is, we in here, and it's, it's too early for this shit. <laughs> so that's what we doing. That's what we doing. All right. So as you again, as you join, like and share the feed. We are here. And we we basically talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing. I got my man Big D because I don't know what my little is, but that's okay. We'll be here when he. Decides. Hey Monroe, what he it do, boo? Well, maybe he took a position. All right, y'all. So let's just get into it, Big D. You know it's a lot of shit going on, but uh. The big motherfuckers are winning. Hey, hey, hey. Look like we got something tasty on the track. What is that? Look like some ribs. Tell me about it. Poke ribs. So they're saying, um, what is it, Reynolds? They're looking for somebody to go around for two weeks and taste ribs to find the best tasting ribs in America. And they're going to pay this person for two weeks, 10 Gs. To go around eating ribs. So you call them? Did you call them? I call them. I call them. We call them. Let me tell you something. They're going to have to pay them those 10 Gs, and then they're going to have to pay them for the diabetes and the heart disease that comes oh, along. Oh, man. So we start, we, hey, you, know, you know all the Fat, fat Coalition, oh, the, the yeah. Southern Fat Coalition, and all called in. He's a big motherfucker. We fighting over that. We fighting over that. Don't worry, the big motherfucker in your neighborhood is just tasting ribs. <laughs> hey, tasting, tasting taste ribs. Rib. What happened? Man, tasting oh, ribs, licking fingers. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine going around getting I free ribs? I cannot. It looks free like ribs. That oh, man. people's dreams do come true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, Stuart, welcome to the party, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, that indeed. I, I don't. So $10,000 to go across country tasting ribs. It's not a bad gig if you went to ribs, but what if they hire somebody or I guess all the vegetarians are gonna pass on this gig because oh yeah yeah they, they, they can't they can't do this one. I could even get it. So we, I don't, we, it. we don't want no tofu and barbecue sauce. We we not that's not what they talking about. <laughs> what if that's one of the ribs you got to take? <laughs> that is not what we talking about. Tofu and barbecue sauce, not at all. <laughs> it might be, sir. Anyway, if all the fat people out there subscribe to this because this is what happens. Oh my goodness. What the bitch they hire be white and three pounds. Watch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Try, try trying to be like Gordon Ramsay in them. You know what I mean? It has the acidity. You taste the acidity of the barbecue sauce. No, bitch, it's barbecue sauce, bitch. It ain't no acidity and no. all that bullshit. 
Okay. It has a little heat at the end. No, it's barbecue sauce. And it gonna be it's gonna be a dude in the backyard named Willie Mo that win. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Mo got the best barbecue on MLK. <laughs> you know, every city got an MLK. <laughs> so, one time for Reynolds, y'all, and all the fatties out there, the fat foodies, because uh Reynolds is paying you guys to get, get your groove on. And let me tell you, when you love what you do, you'll never work again. So Amen. you might as well get into it, like and share the feed. And, yes, and indeed. Uh, yes, indeed. And get you some rib tasting going on. Let's go. Let's go to Kansas City. Let's go to Chicago. They got North Carolina, South Carolina. But that North Carolina barbecue is a little different. You know, what's the what's your favorite barbecue? St. Louis? St. Louis? Is it St. Louis? Where's the, the, the city that's famous for barbecue? It's St. Louis, right? Uh St. St. Louis, Kansas City got they got that thing going on. Uh, Dallas does good in barbecue. Um uh, you know the South. The South always banging. You know I'm ATL. You know Ooh. so. Uh, and the only thing different, like they got that uh, that barbecue in North Carolina, but their barbecue sauce has like a, a vinegar base to it. I think so. It's it's a little more. Thank yeah, it's it's, diff it's different. It's different, yeah. but it can be good, but it's different. I don't know. I ain't into it. I can't. I can't with that. That's just nasty. I'm 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 concerned about the ten Gs. I just want the ten Gs. Can I get the 10? You want to eat that? Can I get the 10 with some so whole wine rolls? <laughs> on to some other shit. California. California. <laughs> Monroe said, Monroe said her favorite is the uh, barbecue chips from Lay's. <laughs> <laughs> Lay's barbecue potato chips. She is on some fat shit. She must be a vegan. The she don't eat pork. winning out here, Big D. Um, California has uh, said uh, F45's administration, California Governor Gavin Newsom has joined the Rainbow Tribe uh, Coalition. You know, he decided that he's going to put up the, the, the gay pride flag right. at the state capitol this past Monday for the first time in history. First time. So, you know the gays are winning. I'm not fucking with the gays. Personally, I'm not going up. If if I get into a fight, any kind of fight, physical, uh, altercation of any type, verbal, or online, social media, and I find out that I'm fighting somebody from the LGBTQ community, I'm raising the white flag. I'm like, fuck that. Hey. <laughs> okay? They so stick together. Winning, and they taking people down. The gays don't give a fuck. Hey, they do. They they actually do their thing. They they like it's amazing how if somebody violates or says something wrong, you know what I'm saying. I think I think the gays will fuck up the beehive. <laughs> but shit, most of them in the beehive. Not a beehive. You want them the same, so them motherfuckers gonna be in there fighting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of them, most of them in the beehive. Oh shit, my bad. Look, the gays and the beehives are synonymous. <laughs> with one another. Gays got hands. <laughs> Clock in, go to work. Mama said, Gays got hands. Ah! Hey, <laughs> hey, honestly, though, have you been looking at a couple of social media videos? They have, they they do. I've seen yeah. some with hands. Yeah, because they strong and cocky as fuck. They ain't having sex. They having sex, but it ain't sex sex. It it's ain't sex. <laughs> Allows you to keep your uh whatever it is. What's up, Alex Star? You finished? Come in what's here. Up, what's up, Mr. Alex? Come on in. Send Alex the link. Uh Alex, we're gonna send you the link if you could join, join. He said he had a, a, a meeting this morning, y'all. But Alex is coming to uh City Winery on July 18th. He is in with everybody else. Uh, Freddie Riggs, Alex Starr, and Candace August Freddie going down at the city city yeah. winery in DC. I need to fly. I got it. Go ahead. So, DC wineries coming to you live. City winery. Live home. City winery, not DC winery. It's DC city winery, right? It's the city oh, winery. City winery. The city winery, but they have them in, in different states, so you have to say D.C. So if you say city winery, they might be, is it the one in Atlanta? 
DC. What's up? Welcome to the party, big who. What's up, who? What's going on, bro? Y'all know I need to connect my mic today. Is that better? Do I sound clearer? You sound good on the mic, girl. I know I do. I look good on the mic. You don't. <laughs> Give a give a morning clap for being on the mic. <laughs> Nick, get me get clap for being on the mic. Yes. Hey, what's up, Bree Bree? What's going on? To the party, boo boo. Timmy is chasing junkies, or the junkies and finally caught up with him, one or the other. I don't know yeah. what's going on. We don't, know, we don't know what happened to Timmy this morning. Um, he said he headed to an interview. He can't come in. We need to um Find, put an all points bulletin out for little Timmy, y'all. I don't know where little Timmy is this morning, but we got to find him. Anyway, well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, and get that thing. Go ahead, and get that thing, folk. Go ahead, Alex, get that, get that thing on the interview, man. You got that. Okay, mm -hmm. interview, by the way. Alex is a comedian full time. What kind of interview, nigga? Jobs is for quitters. What are you doing? He going, he going, he, he going to interview, he going to interview to take over a TV show. He said he'll be live tomorrow, so that means Alex will come in on tomorrow. We're gonna have a reboot of Talk Back Tuesday on Thursday. <laughs> that clown is funny, y'all. I love him. Me and him started together. We started. Thank you, family, for waking up and joining us. I was just starting. We ended up taking a class. Alex, do you remember? We we took we had the uh, showcase at um, what's the name of that club that was downtown? Uh, dang. Brad, I forgot his name. Brad, somebody did the class down at uh, God, I can't remember. Any, oh, he said for a show. Okay, good. Because if you was going for a job, I was going to say cancel that show on July. <laughs> he said, out. Alex, you know, we'll say anything because it's too early for this shit. <laughs> All right, so. My girl, I don't know why y'all can't leave Tiffany the fuck alone. Okay. Yeah, this, this, ain't, this ain't even really enough story for me. This must this be, this must have been a story put out by the LGBT community. I just say this clown, I don't know who he is, and I'm saying clown, and I use the word clown loosely because I am not amused by this bullshit. This guy, Brad Trackman, that's right, Alex, my bad, but this is not Brad Trackman. We'll get back to that. Brad Trackman was the teacher of the comedy class where we wasted our money. What was the name of the club, Alex? Anyway, this guy says that he was sexually assaulted by Tiffany Haddish. Okay? Apparently, Tiffany was doing to, according to Vic Mensa, he's a rapper, Tiffany had is sexually assaulted him. He spoke of all of he spoke of all of this on Mike Tyson's podcast. She approached him in a New York City nightclub while smoking a cigarette, telling him he was too cute to be smoking. She then expressed how she wanted him to help her rap album and proceeded to rap on, on like one of her songs. The song was talking about dick. So then she grabbed a handful of his meat. Okay. First of all, Nick. So it's on it's on Mike Tyson podcast. That's where you bring it out at. Yeah. Okay. That's Second good. of all, you a man and complain about your dick being grabbed. Yeah. This is some bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Grab my dick. The only way it's sexual assault if you grab my dick and don't give me none. So clearly this clown is trying to come up. Bye bye. Yeah, I, I, I think he's trying to keep himself in the line. Like, man, please. That is not sexual assault. That is called oh, pure, no. pure pleasure. I won't say that. Now, if somebody is receiving unwanted sexual advances, no matter what your sex is, it's assault. But I think that knowing the girl is a comedian and, you know, and I, that don't mean, that don't make it right. I'm not justifying assault. Please understand. Like, we're inappropriate on this show because that's the fuck we do. But I'm not justifying assault. But what I do say is I think Cl the dude is on, on, he's on the come up. He's trying to get a come up because I've never heard of him. Have you? No, nah, he, he's, um, he's, he's known. He's, he's, he's known. By you? No, nah, no, nah, he's, he's known in the music industry. Um, but I think I think he's kind of like, you know, he was going like this, and now he's kind of 
evening out a little bit. So you might be trying to put yourself back in, the, put yourself back in the news. You know, you, you know they got to do stuff to get back in the, in the news. Hey, good morning, Coffee. What's going on? Welcome to the party, boo boo. That's my. But thing. uh, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, he. They say he's not filing charges. Like Monroe said, he's not filing charges, but it's but he's talking about it as sexual assault. Monroe, look what she said. Your new hashtag. Grab me too. Grab me too, goddamn. <laughs> grab me. No, hey, Maro, my hashtag is grab me too, but follow through. <laughs> Don't just grab, grab me it. too, but follow through. Now, I guess she could. He couldn't get. She couldn't get mad if he grabbed her titty or something after she touched his dick, his meat. You know. So the thing is, it, it, it's it, she. He's right. He's right. You know. Maybe people do go a little too far sometimes in the name of comedy. I know of a situation where um, Sylvia Traymore Morrison, Dr. Sylvia Traymore Morrison was uh, assaulted in a similar way and is now uh, uh, open and ongoing litigation where Rock Newman came on stage during her set and proceeded to stuff tissue and shit down her bra you know, I guess he was trying to be funny. I don't know. The nigga apparently couldn't promote boxing and he can't tell jokes because that shit wasn't funny. So sit your ass down and write the check, nigga. That's right. Big who, you with me? You big who, say you with me. Grab me, but follow through, please. Don't play with me. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a different guy. I understand it's assault. You know what I'm saying? And then it just appears on. Man, come on. I, I don't, I don't know how to take that. I don't know how to take that, bro. It's assault. Yeah, I think he, I don't know, maybe he don't like Tiffany. Maybe, you know, he don't, maybe he's gay. Maybe Big Who, a, that's a shirt. Big Who, we're going to get a shirt, say, hashtag, grab me too, and at the bottom, they're going to say, but please follow through. <laughs> don't just grab me and play with it. You know, you know, I, I can't, I, you know, don't play with my emotions like that. I'm sensitive about my shit. <laughs> okay, so 50 Cent, 50. Back in the news, you know, 50, 50 that took this marketing thing he does and took it to a whole nother level by messing with people about his money. Can I say, I fucking love Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. I love this nigga. And you got to love him. He's a genius at what he does. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he's still street, but he does it on the corporate side. Uncle Simmons said he's the bully of bullies, right? Right. I don't know, but I know that I love him. I love him. I love the rough, rough, rogue, all that craziness. This motherfucker is borderline genius in a hood yeah. ratchet kind of way. You know what I mean? Because now so, he got the whole community in on it. This like he, is took, he, took a 50, he took a picture with 50 Cent. 50 Cent and Biz Mark took a picture. And yeah. Biz Mark is holding the picture, holding food stamps like, yeah, I told he said he... 50 say I told Biz I love his music all my life, but I want that money he owed me. <laughs> <laughs> and and Biz been in over handling food stamps in the pitch. I was like, he done took this whole marketing of people owe the money to the whole to a whole nother level. Okay. Listen, Chocolate Chai, what's up, boo? Welcome to the party. What's up, Chai? What's up, Chai Town? Chocolate Chai. He's petty, but he petty like in a in a good way. I agree to nigga Patty now. He will say, he'll say it himself probably. He's petty as fuck. And I can be petty, and, you know, when you fucking with my money. I turns, I jump Patty. I right. used to have a saying, when all else fails, jump Patty. Okay? Because you don't want nothing else. Like, I can dig it though. I dig his Patty right now. I'm into it. I'm all kinds of into this nigga. And Man, it, hey. it's not even on a, like, on no babbing out ass shit. Look, she said, I would take all 50 cents and give me a quarter of his meat. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. One yeah. time for Monroe. Put that in. Put that in there. We're going to send that out. We're going to put that out there in the universe. <laughs> you are stupid, girl. Listen. <laughs> what up, though? Listen, let me tell you. So here's what happened. Allegedly, last week, 50 Cent hosted a party at an ATL strip club and gave celebrity friends stacks to throw at strippers. Well, Bow Wow stuffed the money in his pants. And he got mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This little nigga, Bow Wow, took the money home with him. 
Hey, right, 50, 50 be mad at me too. It depends on how much you gave me. You know what I'm saying? And, and so these men, whoever the fuck that is, who is that? Oh, and and, and the ladies, man, get them before I kill them. So, so you know, so Bow Wow, <laughs> Bow Wow has paid the money. <laughs> so 50 posted this and called off the squad. So I just got off the phone with my man Ant. He called me to tell me Bow Wow reached out and gave him the money. So we cool and shit. But I want to do something to that nigga. I feel like that nigga <laughs> stole my motherfucking money. I fucking <laughs> dances and shit. That nigga picking up the money and taking it home with him. But now that I got my money back, I'm wishing Bow Wow Peace. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, that's gonna be you know how they fuck with Bob. That's gonna be a new challenge on the on the gram. That's gonna be a new challenge on the gram. Motherfuckers gonna be throwing up money, picking it up off the floor. I am so I am so into this nigga and his crazy ass shit, man. I just want to spend a day with that motherfucker. Cause I, up, man. Man. I, love, I love how relevant he is and remains. I love the drama. I love the cuckoo crazy. Look, uh, Big Who say, shit. Yeah, <laughs> hey, 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 Who, I got, hey, Who, I'm, I'm with you, baby. I got it. What's up, Khadija? How you doing? Thank you for joining the party. Like and share this feed. Please. Hey, look, Who, I'm like you. Um, I've been with some clients before in the strip club, man, and they go in there. They send me in the back. I'll tell you, I've been in Miami. They send me in the back office. To get like a stack of five thousand ones, so I'm standing there holding all the ones. You think I ain't cover one? You think I ain't cover stack? Come on, man! <laughs> you got a whole show. Let me tell you, you got to. Chocolate said I wouldn't borrow fifty cent from that nigga, and I would have <laughs> too. Yeah, I would have too, but I wouldn't have did it if a motherfucker seen me. I wouldn't throw it back. Yeah, that's, that's different. That's different. <laughs> yeah, that's different at a celebrity party. You a celebrity? You supposed to be, you know, you supposed to be bossed up like everybody else. Now you in there looking like fifty cent little bitch. Now you you stuffing the money in your pocket. <laughs> I fucking love you. Okay, like, like love nigga, Bow Wow, Bow Wow shouldn't need no Waffle House money. That nigga seem like he a decent dude when when it all boils down to it. But if you get him wrong, he just turns into right. That. He go he gonna come at you. He petty as fuck. And what you gonna do? You can't get mad at the nigga. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to him like that. <laughs> right, right. Tell you who they are. Believe them. <laughs> Don't be questioning the shit. The nigga said he crazy and will fuck somebody up for the right reason. And. and the right reasons is his coins, okay? Right, fifty say, fifty say, it's like they're mean, goddamn. My money don't, my money don't stay till I ask you for it. Then you be like, oh, you want that little old funky ass twenty dollars? <laughs> you say that mean when somebody say, my twenty dollars, my twenty dollars smell good till I ask you, ask you for it back. Then it's that little old funky yeah. ass twenty dollars. <laughs> Wait, who said up in there with Red Grant and Ra Raheem Devon? I was what retipping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at first, he said, "Retipping." At, at first, then <laughs> said, "Shit, let me take a few." <laughs> I know that's right. I, I know that right, Bill. Who pick up, pick up a few? They be like, "Man, what you doing?" I be like, "Nigga, I'm from the A shot. I'm gonna show you how you really supposed to make it rain. You ain't throw it right." <laughs> I got to redo this. <laughs> yeah. Retipping. He done gave it a name. Big Who. Big Who. You retipping? Who on the show tonight, Big Who? Big Who. Retipping them hoes. What you doing? Retipping them hoes. What you doing? Retipping them hoes. <laughs> 420 Friendly Radio. That cat, man. Good guy. Funny, funny as hell. That's the funnest radio show I've ever done besides mine. <laughs> Anyway, Chocolate said laughing my ass off. The smart one was Lil Duval. He said, nigga, hell no. I don't want your money. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Keep uh, that shit in. <laughs> that's because he got his own little money. Shit, ain't, no, ain't nobody that ain't got no money. Listen, when you broke, you will take Patty and all. <laughs> you're going to take, take a chance on the pettiness, huh? Okay. 
Look, Curtis. Shit. I Pastor, know Pastor Keith Battle is on 420 tonight. Mm-hmm. Pastor Keith Battle will be on there on 420 tonight. Who's what, Pastor Keith Battle? Is yeah, he Pastor Keith Battle? He gonna be on 420 tonight. I might want to go to this church. Um, yeah, right. Is he a real pastor? Because I heard that name before. Yeah, I did. I have heard that name before too. Keith Battle. Who is that? Well, what, what, what time? What time on the show? And what can what can they pick it up at? Uh, Big Who? Let us know where they can pick the show up at, and what time the show come on. All that good stuff. Coming to promote his new book, Side Chickology. Oh Lord, yeah, he a real pastor. Oh yeah, he yeah, he a pastor from he like he like a uh, downtown 14th Street pastor. Some some legislation and and li- and literary legislation. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the nigga that got his hairline spray painted. He said <laughs> he said I'm the pastor, baby. I put snake skin on government men fur coats on them billy goats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a real pastor at Zion Church in Glen Arden. Send us a picture, Monroe. Put a picture up. Keith Battle, pastor of Zion Church in Lando. We don't put all his business in the streets, but if he going on 420 Friendly Radio, his shit is already in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to his church. Are they passing Zion of Lando, okay. He a side nigga. Yes, he said, yeah, Zion Church of Landover. Okay. 9 p.m. tonight. 9 p.m. tonight. Y'all check out Big Hoove, man. And check out Big Hoove on 420 Radio tonight. 9 me, p.m. Me and Big Dale, we got to get out of here. We're going to find little Timmy one day, and hopefully we can get back into this. You know definitely, I mean? definitely, definitely, man. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day. Shout out to everybody that's joined us, man. Don't forget to please share this feed. Like and share this feed. Okay, who I found a picture of Pastor Keith. Let me show y'all. Shit, get that nigga my beeper number. <laughs> <laughs> nigga say, tell him to call me at 777-9311. No, nigga. <laughs> but I ain't fucking with no bro. <laughs> so Pastor Keith Battle. Where's the thing? I'm trying to show y'all this this cat. He's not bad looking. He's good looking. Look at Pastor Keith. Pastor Keith, I'm here for it. Look at him. Wow. Pick up my book on side chickology. Because if your allergy ain't with your chick, and then your chick ain't your allergy. So is he in the market for a side chick? I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man, we got him crying over there. I know that's right, big fool. But uh, I'm man. sorry. Can you give Pastor Keith my people number? 777-9311. No, for real. <laughs> Tell DJ Lewis shirt, don't be jolly. <laughs> He's writing books and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He'll be a good side nigga. Hey, Big Hoop, I did watch the show, too. The DJ got his lights and everything working over there, boy. I said, God damn, DJ Lil' Shirt. Shirt's with a lot of light. <laughs> okay, DJ Lil' Shirt. Check it out live on Facebook, Rip Radio. Or I share it on his, he gonna share it on his feed, Bree. That's where you pick it up at. Everybody watching, check out Big Hoop tonight. Live on Facebook, Rip Radio, or he gonna share it live on his feed. 9 p.m., 420 Radio. 9 p.m. That's right. So, uh, tell Pastor Keith and First Lady Keith, you know, she can come to the party too. I'm all inclusive. Yes, indeed. I believe in being fair. So, all right, y'all. We can ready to hit it. Big hey, who hit me up and let me know, baby. I come through. We're gonna do we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time. It's whatever Wednesday, and it's time for me and Big D to get the heck out of here. Yeah, it's about that time. It's about that time. It's about that time. It's about that time. It's about that time to go. Oh, it's about that time. It's about that time. We done talked about 50. Let's go. I'm just tripping. So he's gonna have 50 cent looking for us for all the wrong reasons here. Now, nah, 50, 50, 50 going to be a sponsor. It's whatever Wednesday. Give us a few words of inspiration so we can get the heck out of here. Oh, man. You know, like I always say, man, we appreciate everybody, man. And remember, 
Whatever you strive to do, it don't matter how fast you run the race as long as you're going forward. You may not be running towards the finish line, but if you're walking towards it, that means you're still going in the right direction. As long as you're going in the right direction, then you're headed in the right path and you're headed towards your destiny and your goals and your dreams. So remember, we love you right here and we and we appreciate you guys and thank you very much. And like we say, <laughs> grab me too, but follow through. <laughs> Grab me too, but Let's follow through. Get the fuck out of here because it's too, it's early. too early for this shit. Peace. Love y'all. Peace.